You've heard the saying, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. A saying like that suggests that Las Vegas, Nevada has a lot of things to do, see and enjoy. Las Vegas is a place you've seen in movies and on TV, so when you hear its name, you think of neon lights, casinos and showgirls in bright clothes. Sin City may get a bad rap from the media, but once you visit, you'll see that the city is much more stunning than the stereotypes suggest. It's impossible to get bored in Las Vegas, Nevada, whether you're there alone, with friends, with a significant other, or with a spouse. But only a handful are truly must-do or can't miss. What are the 10 must-try things to do in Sin City, you ask? Watch the video to find out. Here is our guide to the 10 best things to do in Las Vegas for 2022. Number 10. Get down to Fremont Street. One of the best things to do in Las Vegas is to go to downtown and check out Fremont Street, which is not on the strip but has a lot of character and things to do. This is Old Las Vegas. This road was the first one in the city to be paved, and it also had the first traffic light. At Slotzilla, you can go ziplining from the world's largest slot machine, which will make your heart beat much faster. You fly over the street and see a lot of people below. You'll pay $25 for a ticket and you'll start seven stories up. When you get to the middle of the Fremont Street experience, you'll be sitting down. It goes for two blocks. You will also be amazed by the Viva Vision, which is the world's largest video screen and one of the most popular things to do on Fremont Street. When you're in the FSE, you can't miss out on the Viva Vision light shows. About 22 million people see these amazing light shows every year and a ride on the Slotzilla zipline is one of the best ways to see them. You can watch a variety of light shows with dazzling lights, high resolution videos and concert quality sound. There are 12.5 million LED lights in the screen. It is 90 feet wide and 1500 feet long. Number 9. Get lost in the Grand Canal shops. Did you know that Italy can be visited in Las Vegas? Well, at least it's a pretty fun copy of Italy. The Venetian and the Palazzo, two of Las Vegas' best hotels, are connected by the Grand Canal shops. And walking around this beautiful area is a wonderful way to spend an afternoon. On both sides of a real canal where you can rent gondolas in the style of Venice, there are designer shops like Godiva, Bernini Beverly Hills and Mont Blanc. Don't forget to look up though. The ceiling is a mural of a perfect blue and white sky that is so well lit that you might think you're outside. Every part of the Grand Canal shops has been carefully thought out to make it feel like you're shopping in Old World Italy, but with all the modern comforts and luxury of Las Vegas. Number 8. Drive a race car. Has it ever been one of your dreams to take a Ferrari, McLaren, Lamborghini or Porsche out for a spin on a racetrack? If so, you may make your dreams come true at companies like Dream Racing, who offer thrilling experiences just like this. When it comes to racing exotic supercars, Dream Racing is the real deal. If you're staying on the Strip, you may take advantage of the shuttle service that runs directly to the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. The next step before getting behind the wheel of a race car is to complete a safety driving simulation. Plus, you'll receive private instruction on how to operate a supercar. Choose from a wide variety of exotic sports cars, including Lamborghinis, Porsches, Ferraris, McLarens, Audi R8s, Corvettes, Mustangs and more. You can also reserve a seat as a passenger in your preferred vehicle and enjoy the ride without having to worry about the driving. Take on the adult sized racetrack as the kids enjoy fun on the go-kart track. Booking in advance is recommended if you plan on racing an exotic car in Las Vegas. You can always sit on the sidelines and cheer on your friends or significant other if you aren't into racing yourself. Number 7. Dine at Hell's Kitchen. With its prime location in front of Caesars Palace and its floor-to-ceiling windows overlooking the world-famous Las Vegas Strip, the restaurant is a must-visit. Other highlights include a private dining room, a contemporary bar serving cutting-edge mixology, and a red and blue design scheme in the show kitchen. Lunch and dinner are served daily from the red and blue kitchens, which both use modern cooking techniques to provide Hell's Kitchen's hallmark dishes and other meals using the finest ingredients. You must try Gordon Ramsay's Beef Wellington if you ever find yourself in Hell's Kitchen, as it's his most famous signature dish. Tender, melt-in-your-mouth beef wrapped in flaky, golden brown puff pastry and served medium rare, with a layer of mushroom duxelle in the middle. 
Since this is a popular activity, you should plan ahead and reserve your space at least three to four months in advance if you want to go on a specific date and time. Don't bother planning a budget meal though, because this is going to cost a lot. Soup, as an appetizer, costs $20, while the most expensive entree costs $70. Number six, skydive over Las Vegas. Why not take a look at Sin City from a different angle? Thrill seekers, listen up. A skydive over Las Vegas is an experience like no other. Jump from a height of 4,000 feet at a speed of 120 miles per hour and take in breathtaking views of the Strip, Hoover Dam, Lake Mead, Red Rock Canyon and the Colorado River. Don't worry if this is something you've never attempted before. You'll be tethered to an expert and they'll probably make jokes about how nervous they are because it's their first time too. But don't worry, that won't be the case. On the ground, you'll get the lowdown on the fundamentals, like proper body positioning, before you board the plane and take to the skies. When it's your turn, you'll wiggle your way to the plane's edge and before you know it, you'll be speeding toward the ground with a huge grin on your face and no idea where that cry of delight came from. Skydive Las Vegas is the premier skydiving company in the Las Vegas area. They've been operating since 1993, and each year they make over 10,000 jumps. They must know what they're doing. They are the only skydiving center in town that provides free transportation to and from the strip so that loved ones may see you jump. As exciting as Las Vegas might be, this has to be the pinnacle of thrills. Number five, check out Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. When in Las Vegas, you must see the wax figures at Madame Tussauds. Wax museums tend to divide opinion. Some people find them disturbing, while others can't wait to meet their heroes. It's an eye-opening experience regardless of your stance on the subject. The London location of Madame Tussauds is legendary, but the Las Vegas location broke ground on the continent more than two decades ago. Madame Tussauds in Las Vegas features wax replicas of renowned people from various fields, including entertainment, politics, sport, and music. Everyone will find someone they know at the music exhibit. A number of well-known musicians, including Beyonce, Katy Perry, Justin Bieber, Rihanna, and Drake, have had wax sculptures created in their likeness. More than that, in fact, all of the statues look very realistic, although their quality varies from, are you sure this isn't a human, to very nice copies. The finest part is getting up close and personal with the wax figurines, so make sure you check the current protocols before you go to avoid being let down. Number four, the Mob Museum. For better or worse, Las Vegas has been impacted by organized crime. The National Museum of Organized Crime and Law Enforcement, commonly known as the Mob Museum, explores the impact that organized crime has had on the United States, as well as the impact that the United States has had on organized crime. It has, over the years, gathered thousands of items that demonstrate the influence and prevalence of Las Vegas's organized crime syndicates. Many people in the United States find the discussion of organized crime fascinating. That's why crime dramas like The Godfather Trilogy and Goodfellas, as well as shows like The Sopranos, were so popular. However, only a small fraction of the population is interested in the true story of American organized crime. The museum's four levels bring history to life via hands-on exhibitions, authentic artifacts, and innovative multimedia presentations. This material is not appropriate for children. If you must bring children to the museum, make sure to limit their exposure to the displays. The Mob Museum shows the good, the terrible, and the ugly of American organized crime. Number three, take time to visit the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon is one of the most beautiful natural sites on earth, and it's easy to get there from Las Vegas, the closest biggest city. This huge canyon could take days to walk through, but a one day tour from Vegas will always show you the best view from the South Rim. You can see beautiful views of this colorful canyon, which is usually a mile deep. At the bottom of the canyon, the Colorado River runs through. You could also go river rafting on this river. Your comfort level determines your adventure. If you go to the canyon around sunset, the drab colors of the desert can become bright and fiery. And if you want to spend more time in the canyon, you can take an old fashioned mule train from the South Rim down the steep canyon switchbacks and stop at the Phantom Ranch for dinner and an evening by the Colorado River. On the North Rim, you can take a mule train ride for an hour or half a day. Plan some extra time for your trip to Vegas so you can see the Grand Canyon. It's without a doubt one of the best things to do in Las Vegas. Number two, the Strip. 
The Las Vegas Strip is one of the most famous places in the world. In just a few miles, there are hundreds of restaurants, thousands of shops, and all kinds of people doing interesting things. During the busiest times of the year, walking the Strip is a part of American culture and an event in itself. The fact that the Strip is very tourist friendly makes it even more interesting. Several footbridges let people walk across Las Vegas Boulevard to get to the shopping malls like the Forum and the Miracle Mile. There are escalators and elevators on every footbridge to help you get around. You can walk up and down the strip, covering several miles, and not even realise how far you've gone. This is because almost every square inch of the city has something to draw people in. Number 1. Be thrilled by a one-of-a-kind show in Vegas. Since Vegas is the centre of entertainment in the West, you can be sure to see some of the best shows any time. These aren't like most Broadway shows or acts on America's Got Talent. These shows are some of the best in the world. They have stories, action, drama, acrobatics and amazing precision. The best part is that you won't have to pay $500 to see one of Las Vegas' best shows. Any Cirque du Soleil show costs less than $80 per ticket. Cirque du Soleil shows like O, K, Mystère, The Beatles, Love and Michael Jackson's One have been the best shows in Las Vegas for a long time. But there are also a lot of other things to do for fun. The Blue Man Group is a show that families who love music go crazy for. There are also a lot of magicians and illusionists who live in Las Vegas. Check out Matt Franco, David Copperfield or even Piff the Magic Dragon. He does have his own show. No matter what you do, it will be one of the best things to do in Las Vegas. We've now reached the end of this video. Tell us about your best Las Vegas experience in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the video. We'll see you in the next one.